boy, the new League of Legends champion. I heard a lot of things about him. Unless this guy is wrong. Roy got 1026 unique combos and more abilities than your average champion. So why would someone play him with a controller? That sounds like a wild idea. Thankfully for you, I'm wild and I got an idea. A lot of them actually. It just happened to be one of them. We will play on the PBE because it's not out on the public server yet. And I will call myself Roy. I mean controller Roy. Controller Roy is more fitting. That way my teammates will know I'm on controller and they will play accordingly. Honestly, I have no idea what are his abilities. So let's go in a custom game. I will have to change my controller settings. Look at the animation, that's crazy. I had to change a lot of settings to make it work. I had to find the perfect range for my analog stick and which button to use for what ability. It was about efficiency and how comfortable I was with the settings. It took me quite some time but after some trials and errors, I think I got it right to be honest. I was satisfied with the end result. I was happy and it's all that matter. Happiness. But he had so many abilities, I was confused, I was really confused, my brain was fighting for its life. After fixing my settings, I decided to not read his abilities. In case you are wondering if it backfired, yes it did. And you will see how in the future. I decided to play the arena mode, and after I accepted the match, something tragic happened. Someone banned my champion. After punching the air for one minute and accepting the fact I wouldn't be able to play him, I decided to play Zeri with a controller, with a teammate who got 200 pings. Believe it or not, we won a lot of fights. That was a fun experience overall. And we got the second place. After that match was over, Riot gave me enough RP to buy the new Roy skin. So I bought it. We wouldn't buy it. Bro looks so majestic. After buying the skin, I was broke but happy. And it's all that matter. Happiness. Yes, I forgot to use the skin. Is this Serious? During this Roy game, I had no idea what I was doing, what were my abilities, and how I was supposed to play against a Syndra. And you can blame me, no one want to read a Wikipedia page before playing a champion. I was doing some stuff like this, isn't that cool? I miss but it's cool right? No! Nothing is worth mentioning during the first 4 minutes, except the fact that she was clearly winning the lane. I think that wouldn't have happened if I read my abilities. After a while, something tragic happened. I died, and I died again, then I died again. At this point, I thought it couldn't get any worse, but I died again. I thought the game was over and I wouldn't be able to make a comeback, but after a while, this happened. I died again. Boy, if you don't I had the worst KDA I ever saw in my life. Not even an assist, just death. But when I thought every hope was gone, that's when it happened. Syndra was in a bad position. I knew I could kill her. I had to. She had a huge bounty on her head. It was my only hope to come back in the game. I used everything I had and I got the kill. I got so much money from that. I knew I could come back in the game. I knew this game was minable. Oh, shut up, I died so many times. My teammates didn't even know they had a Roy. And after dying for the last time, we decided to surrender. And that's how the game ended. Instead of raising the abilities, I decided to play another game. Another one. This time, I had the Roy drip. Bro looks way too majestic. Damn, I got the drip, what the fuck? At the beginning of the game, the enemy Lux was restless. Look at her. Nice. I kept winning every trade against Lux. At some point, Lux lost so many HP, I was about to kill her. She flushed. Instead of recalling that Lux was taunting me. So I decided to flash on her. And that's how I killed her. The controller Z, the controller Roy Israel. After the first kill I got on Lux, it was time to snowball. So I killed her again. And I killed her again. And after doing this cool combo, I killed her again. And after chasing this poor girl, I killed her again. Nice. At some point, she almost killed me. But I got an ability that gives shield. Passive shield. After having another fight with her, I killed her again. Nice. At this point, I thought I was unstoppable. Who gon' stop me? There was no way for Lux to come back in the game. But I had a huge enemy. And this enemy was no one but myself. Because I didn't get the abilities, I had a hard time fighting. Machine didn't work anymore. But I didn't give up. I kept fighting until the end. At some point, I had 9 kills. And my bot lane was as fed as me. But I was still on controller. It was hard for me to eat stuff like the cone. And escape bad situation like that. Like, damn. Look, I can't eat it. Everyone in the enemy team was trying their best to kill me. Look at this cage for example. He didn't even hesitate to die just to kill me. And that was a smart move. I was the only threat in my team. At some point the enemy team got the Baron and we had to defend. We had to stop them or the game was over. 
But unfortunately, I made a huge mistake and Hilary caught me off guard. That's when I died. And that's how I lost the game. After losing with that lead, I was disappointed because I could have carried the game. But I failed to carry because I didn't read. Read, nigga! Read! I decided to go in the practice mode. Then I picked Roy. After I got in the practice mode, I locked in. That's when it happened. I started reading. I never read that fast before in my life. Read, nigga! Read! I memorized every single ability, every single word. I didn't want to lose anymore. After learning the abilities, I decided to practice every single one of them. I was trying to become comfortable with every ability. I practiced until my hands became what one of the controller. After training for a while, I felt I was ready. It was time for me to prove myself. This game, I had an interesting matchup. It was Roy against Roy. I was on controller. He had a keyboard and a mouse. But all of this didn't matter. Because at the end of the day, the best Roy player was going to win. And I wanted to be the one who see the victory screen at the end. At the beginning of the game, I went on lane and I saw the enemy Roy AFK under his tower. So I decided to attack him. I did no damage at all. That was embarrassing. He decided to fight back. But he missed. Our battle will be legendary. What the heck? During the landing phase, I was trying to poke him. But he didn't back down at all. We were both fighting to get a lead, no matter how small it was. Nice. No matter how hard I was poking him, he just wouldn't go down. At some point, I didn't have any mana left. He almost was out of mana as well. But we both got an ability that gave us some mana. At some point, he lost his composure. And he used all the mana he had left to do some damage to me. Unfortunately for him, he missed all his spells. After missing all his abilities, he decided to recall. Embarrassing! But I realized he was gone a little too late. I was stuck on lane. When he came back, he had everything. Elf, mana, and items. This guy decided to crash the wave. And then he was gone. I don't know why he won but i hope he doesn't get a kill a few seconds later i spot him in the top lane he didn't get anything from that room embarrassing me on the other end i managed to crash the wave and get a good recall after recalling i spent all my gold and when i came back on lane i had an item advantage over the enemy roy and i knew i had to exploit that advantage i didn't try to play as aggressively as i could my goal was to prevent him from recalling at some point this guy overstepped and i knew it was my time to get the kill i used everything i had i had to get this kill after using my ultimate on the enemy roy i was waiting for my cooldown to land the final blow and while i was chasing him i started to remember all the training i did every sleepless night every sleepless morning every sleepless afternoon and all the friends lost during the way and when the cooldown finally reached zero it was over for him the controller Roy had won the fight. Perfect. The enemy Roy didn't like it, so he decided to tip it back, and he came right at me. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. So we both fought again. He even used his ultimate. At the end, he died again. Oh, yeah, double homicide. Bitch. I had so much gold at that point and enough money for an item. When I was coming back on lane, I realized I was rich and the enemy Roy was broke. And what do rich people do? They exploit broke people to become more rich. I was about to give him the luck treatment. So I decided to fight him and I easily killed him. Oh. After killing him, I went top lane. The enemy jungler was fighting my jungler. Unfortunately, he died. He will be remembered. So I sent the enemy jungler in the afterlife. And since I didn't want my jungler to be lonely, I fought the enemy top laner. And I also sent him in the afterlife. Oh. Thank you. The enemy Hue was trying his best to avoid me. So my lust came to give me some help to kill this guy. We waited in this bush for him to do a mistake. After some time, he overstepped and we killed him. Following this, I started to work with my Lux. Teamwork make the dream work. Lux landed a good Q and we managed to kill Nila. After that, we killed Briar and Amelzinger. I was in the mid lane with Lux. That's when something tragic happened. Briar started to chase my Lux. I tried to fear her, but I missed. Then I tried to land a Q, but I missed. And that's how my Lux died in front of me. I could only avenge her. But Sorry about that. And after some time, the enemy team surrendered and we won the game. Then I gave my honor to Lux and I even got a S. In conclusion, I think Roy is a fun champion to play. And surprisingly, he wasn't that hard to learn at all. Also with all his abilities, he got so many options and many ways to outplay the enemy. Have a nice day and thank you for watching.